guys see i told you three videos in a row what you know about that sorry about the layout here as i said in the previous videos i'm moving to another state so everything's in shambles we're moving and shits and boxes and so on and so forth all right so uh, let me just get this out of the way. Today's video is sponsored by Law Vivid. If you guys are interested, because that's where I buy my systems, I purchase my stuff. Yes, purchase. I don't get shit sent for free. I'm not that type of person. I don't do shit for free. I like to buy my stuff, and that's just the way I've always been. I use Law Vivid hair systems. This is a brand new one. This is the Law Vivid Louis. It's an amazing system. I just put it on Thursday, and it is now whatever day this day is published. Uh, whatever the day this video is published. Yes, I use Law Vivid. If you guys are interested, you can use this code right here, SHS15. That will save you 15% on your entire order. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be a hair system. It could be a hair system. It could be whatever you want it to be. You can buy accessories, uh, hair products, whatever, and it will save you 15%. I'm just trying to save, uh, pass on the savings to you guys because that's what I use. And as you guys can see, that hair system looks bang on. I love it. I love it. It and I love it. So thank you to Love Vivid for sponsoring today's video. All right, I want to talk about one thing today. Today I've been, well, not today, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me, what does it feel like to have a hair system on your head? Now I'm going to give you the honest truth because I know a lot of people just talk or they do whatever and then they'll mislead you. I'm not saying that that's what everybody does, but on this channel, I look to inform, not to mislead. I'm going to give you guys the honest truth. At first, when I first got a hair system, it felt like there was something taped to my head. It was hot. It was sweaty. The installation was horrible. I think I showed you guys a, a picture. I think maybe I'll show it here. If not, I don't have a picture. Right here of the first day I wore, I left the, the salon that I actually had my hair system put on. And I thought it looked good because I had hair, but I had no idea. They did a horrible job, but like I said, I didn't know any better. Okay, so what does it feel like now? Now, now that I'm an avid hair system wearer, and I've been an avid hair system wearer for the good portion of five to six years, I would even say more. I'm, I keep saying that. I'm not sure, but I know I, it's it's been a pretty damn long time that I'm wearing a hair system, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to get to the point. At first, it felt like there was something attached to my head. It felt hot. It was sweaty. It was so uncomfortable because I was so used to wearing a cap and having no hair at the top. I used to shave my head and I used to look like a light bulb. It was ridiculous. But the first few days, it's going to be feeling tight. Depending on how you have it installed, if it's all glue, I... I think the first time I installed my hair system, it was all glue. She put all glue everywhere on... No, wait, did she put... I think she put tape on the front, and I didn't know any better. That was such a bad move. They put tape across the front. Uh, you know what they did? They put tape all around the borders, and in the middle, they put white, a clear bond. I didn't know any better, as I said. I, I feel stupid even just telling you that, but... They put tape around the sides and then they put uh, glue. I think it was all over all of that. Then stuck the hair system down, combed it, styled it, cut it, and I left. And I spent like 500 bucks to do that, which was a really big mistake. But based off that description, that's what it felt like. It felt like it was tight. They put the hair system on and it. she pulled it and she pushed it and it was really tight. So that's what that first felt like. In the beginning, when I first had my hair system installed, it felt tight. It felt like there was a plastic bag on my head. It felt like it was the worst feeling ever. But I enjoyed the look because, as I said, I didn't know any better. Now, five, six years later on, sorry, five to six years on, I don't even feel like I have it on. And I would say that feeling diminished the first four months, maybe three to four months, I felt like there was nothing on my head. I'm like, wow, I don't feel anything. The only thing I felt was it was a little squishy or whatever when it used to be in the summertime and it would be hot and everything would move around. You would feel the moisture and whatever if you leave gaps or whatever and you feel and you got the glue on your head and then you put a layer of, uh, uh, what do they call that, scalp protector and then you put a layer of glue. Of course, it's going to feel like there's something on your head. But after time, you become accustomed to the hair system like right now, it feels like I have regular hair and it's coming out of my head. Now, I've told you guys in the past that I use a little thin, about, about maybe this much 
worth of glue across the front because I want that nice seamless look when it comes because as you guys can see I push my hair back and there's no way I can have a gap from my skin to the hair system there's no way I can have a gap there it would look ridiculous if you push it back now if you pushed it towards the front that would be a whole different story if you're covering all that up and you're not going to notice it but then again in my opinion if you do a push forward look and if the hair gets blown back you're going to notice the hairline so I figure in my opinion this is all my opinion that the pushback look and if you can do it right in the beginning like i would say uh, up until like a few months ago i would layer the glue on and it would have a tiny minuscule effect uh or depth on it but now i put a moderate amount right here and then a very thin amount right there so this way when i spray my alcohol give it 10 seconds then put it down it is a seamless transition and I don't feel anything. Now, towards the end like of the day when I know I have to redo my hair system, I notice it because everything is squishy. When you sleep, it gets messed up. It gets pushed. And that's when you notice it. But during everyday life, I don't feel this thing is on my head at all. It feels normal to me. And this is why I'm addressing this now because I've had a lot of commenters ask me, what does it uh, to have a hair system on even in the summer? I don't think I could. My head wouldn't breathe. Anything on your head, your head's not going to breathe. You wear a hat, it's not going to breathe. Even a Swiss Lee system, you have to put glue on top of your scalp and then the hair and then the Swiss lace. So regardless that the Swiss lace has holes in it, you still got a layer of glue on your head that's covering your pores. So either it's a Swiss lace, and people say that all the time, it, feel, it must feel like a paper or a plastic bag stuck to your head with a poly system. No, it must feel the same way uh, with a Swiss or French lace because no matter what you're putting on your head, you still have to put a glue layer or a few glue layers according to the majority of Swiss or French lace hair system wearers. You have to put one, two, three layers of glue on your head. So regardless of what you're putting on top of that glue, it's still going to feel stuffy. So regardless, I use a poly system and yes, in the summertime it does get hot. Of course it does. But to be honest, I wear a hair system now and I don't I don't wear a hat because the hat just completely covers you and your, your hat gets soaked and your head gets soaked. Well, at least with this, it does breathe a little bit. You know what I mean? So years on after I've installed my hair system and, and wore a hair system, I think I, I just don't even feel it anymore. It is such a pleasure to know that I I don't feel that anymore and people get discouraged from wearing a hair system. Should I go poly? Should I go Swiss lace? Do whatever you feel is right. I went with a poly system because of the detectability. Yes, a Swiss lace looks very good, but to be fair, I've had people like, I don't, I don't want to, I'm going to be careful about what I say here. When we sold our house, we actually had a broker or our broker that actually wore a hair system. And I could tell right away because that number one, the hair color didn't match. And number two, it was one day where I seen the broker with a brand new hair system and the light was hitting it and you seen the shine of the glue underneath and then the system the person was wearing didn't have bleach knots at the end so you've seen all these little black dots now if you take a look now you don't see black dots but you do see the hair and i think that is more reasonable for me now if you want to spend the extra money and get bleach knots then go for it. That'll look so much better. But yet I can't fathom the fact that if you put a Swiss lace system, you're always going to see, because I think you have to use ghost bond, you use ghost bond and that glue will be shiny. Now with these new hair systems from La Vivid, the see-through bio skin, they have dulled the base. So even in the sun, it will not shine. It won't shine, but you can see how dull it is now. And I think dull looks better than shiny. Let me know in your comment in the comments what you guys think if you're a Swiss lace hair system wearer or a poly hair system wearer. I don't even feel like I have it on. The first couple of months, yeah, you may feel it, but to be honest, after a certain amount of time, you don't feel anything on your head at all. Like right now, as I'm talking to you, I feel nothing. I feel my head sweating because it, you know, I got the fan on me and it's, it's summertime, but I don't feel like there's something stuck to my head. And also when I do install my hair system, I try not like when you roll it on your head, I try not to 
push it because number one, I think it will attach it self to the tape and then during the the course of you wearing it it may pull it back a little and a little because based off the strength that you pushed your system back just my humble opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments like i said i've been wearing a hair system for well over five years and i feel like there is nothing on my head so i enjoy it i thoroughly enjoy it and i do not think at any time soon that i'm going to be not wearing a hair system yeah it feels good when you take it off, you get to wash it, clean it. Your head can actually breathe. I let it stay off for about an hour. And then I put my hair back on because I feel literally naked without my hair system. So I'm going to try to make it as short as sweet as possible. That's going to do it. Let me know what you guys think and let me know your opinions in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I always look forward to your guys' feedback in the comments. I try to answer as many if I possibly can all your comments, and I enjoy the interaction with you guys. So that's going to do it for me again. Stay tuned. There's more coming. I got more content on the way. Thank you to Love Vivid again for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested, I'm not just trying to push them. I push them because I believe and I love their products. And as I said before, they're above $300. I think in my opinion, you get what you pay for. And that I'm going to leave it at that. So let me know what you guys think and give me your feedback down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thumb it up if you enjoyed it. Thumb it down if you didn't. And uh, stay tuned. I got more coming. I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.